So very, very few times on a PNID project, you're going to have only one PNID where you put all your equipment on all your lines uh, on one PNID. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to create a new drawing and how to uh, connect the two PNIDs. So if you come over to your project manager, okay and plan 3d wants you to do everything with inside the project manager um, you know adding deleting uh, drawings uh, moving drawings and so it you know it takes control of your whole project which is a good thing because then you have everything in one location and you uh, don't have to worry about where things are are located okay so under your project manager, you will see, um, you know, a couple tabs here. You'll see the name of your project. You'll see the PNID drawings. Uh, then you'll see the plan 3D drawings. That's the 3D models. Uh, then your pipe specs and your related files. Uh, related files are anything you want to use uh, for like you know overlays or x references or anything like that um you know not really related to the project but you kind of need them um that's what i usually use this related file files for um, so if you go into uh pnid drawings you will see your pnids now you can add subfolders to these and we'll kind of get in that later on when we get into the, the piping design side of things or the, the modeling side. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to bring it up. If you right click on it, go to new folder, it'll create a new folder with inside the project. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually create a new drawing directly into the PNID drawings. Uh, so we're going to right click on the, the folder that we want it in. Um, and we're going to say new drawing. And this dialog box is going to show up. And we're going to say uh, PID 1001. Our first one was 1000. This one will go into 1001. Uh, this one here is uh, who created it. So we're going to just say you know, Alan Moore. Uh, this is the path that's going to be saved in. And then this is your um, PNID uh, template that it's going to use. Uh, we're using out of the box uh, items right now. So that that is more than fine. So we're going to hit OK. OK, so out of the box, uh, this is the plan 3D out of the box, uh, you know, template. And you will see that the drawing name has already been done. Okay, it's a, it's a field. And it's already going to automatically going to populate. Okay. Uh, you notice that this is, is blank. This is also a field. So it's pulling information from somewhere. Um if you double click on it it should okay it doesn't tell you where you know where it's coming from but i'll show you that in a second um you know project name again it's a field so it's called from this project so you know to keep that in mind if you want that information to be pulled in uh what area drawing number and author okay and so where is it pulling this information from? Well, if you come over to your drawings and you right click on it and go to all the way down to the bottom and to properties, and we're going to hit properties and we're going to say, okay, look, drawing number. So we're going to call this 1001. Now, if you have a document control system or something that wants the drawings to be called a certain, a certain thing, maybe a longer name than just PNID 1001, you can put that in here, uh, but we're going to just do 1001. You know, here's our drawing title. That's the name of the title. The drawing area, we're just going to say 100. Uh, you know, author, that's me. We're going to put that in there. We're, and that pulled in from the original uh, setup uh, when we created the drawing. Description, we're going to call this reactor. Okay. 
uh, reactor PNID. Okay, and we're going to hit OK. Okay, now you notice nothing really changed yet. The fields don't work very well until you hit save. So hit Control S, and now you see that it changed. Now there's reactor drawing. Uh, you can see that the you know area is populated, the drawing number is populated, and my name is populated. Uh, you could also do it initials if you don't want your name name in there. So the PNID is pulling information from the drawing file. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Um, inside of Plan 3D, out of the box, um, Plan 3D really likes to use paper space, model space for, for drawing. I, I don't know why, and if anyone knows why Autodesk has done this, I understand on orthos and plans and sections and everything, uh, you know, having your model in there and then doing your viewports, that that makes sense. But on a PNID, uh, it confuses me. Uh, so anyway, Plan 3D really likes you to draw in model space and then you know your borders in in paper space so if you draw something by accident in one space and not the other uh, you will have some problems connecting so make sure your, all your drawings are drawn in the same same location so you know we drew the last one in model space we're going to go ahead and do the same thing um, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put some equipment. Remember, equipment is very important in the first first uh, thing you do in a drawing. And so we're going to come down here and let's put in um, that's a vessel. I thought I had a reactor in here, but I might not have. But um, it's not that big of a deal so we're just going to put a vessel in here and we're going to put in put in somewhere here so plan 3d will allow you to resize a uh, a piece of equipment when you place it and so you can specify the x y and z or you can just you know kind of you know make your own size um you know scale on, on the drawing by just moving it around so we're just going to that looks good for a reactor so we're going to hit ok and so we're going to change this to uh, RCT and we're going to call this 1000 or 001 because it's the first one and we're going to hit assign uh, again it's asking you where you want to place the tag and we're going to put it in here uh, again, you can put it inside the drawing, you can put it on the outside of the drawing. It doesn't matter as long as it's associated with it. That's pretty much all that most people care about. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a line, okay, a primary line right here. And we're going to draw it from here to here and we're going to connect to the reactor, okay. Now you notice that when you place it, it automatically on tanks, reactors, um, heat exchangers. If if it's like a, a, a tube, uh, tube and shell, or uh, not so much the plain, uh, plate and frame uh, rea uh, heat exchanger, it should put in the nozzle in there automatically for you. Uh, if not, you can manually put it in there. Um, if you go into fittings, uh, so there's our, our reactors, uh, our, our nozzles, not our reactors. So there's our nozzles. And so, okay, so we've got this line and we're going to go to non, uh, engineering items. And so on off page connectors and symbols, tie in symbols, we're going to hover over the not off page connector. Okay. And we're going to select this line. Okay. 
Now, let's go ahead and just give this line uh, an annotation so we can watch what happens. So we're going to say tag. We're going to come up here. You can see that this is, is completely blank. It does not have any information in it whatsoever. And that's, that's what we want. Okay. So we got our line coming in from uh, somewhere. We don't know where yet. Um, I'm going to line this up against that, that border right there. And we're going to go back to, we're going to save this one. And we're going to go back to our uh, original PNID. Okay, and we're going to draw a line from this heat exchanger. Okay, and draw that line. And we're going to go to assign tag and we're going to give it a number. So we're going to say this is a three inch. We're going to say this is process. Uh, we're going to say that this is CL, uh, CS150 and we're going to give it a new number, say 002. Okay, and then we're going to sit assign. Okay, we'll place our annotation right there. So there's our, our number. Oh, it doesn't follow a naming convention, so let's go ahead and change that. We're going to go ahead and go to our tool palette, I mean our properties. Click on there, and we're going to say this is 1002. Okay. Assign. There's no reason to put another tag. There's already one in there. And then we're going to go to our non-off-page connector. We're going to make a connection right here. Okay. And you'll see that the process has already been populated here. Um, and there's some other tabs you'll see that there are little dots in here and they're not filled out yet so if you click on it and go back to your properties you'll see comment connector and origin uh, our destination okay but what we're going to do is i want to show you what populates when you make a connection so you see this little uh circle right here that is like you know something's not connected something you know that's basically what it's saying it's not connected if it is you'll see it green and you'll see that in a second so we're going to go back and hit save um, and we're going to go to here here's our uh, 1002 drawing or zero, uh, zero, zero, 001 drawing and we're going to click on the, f the arrow here uh, or the off-page connector and there's a little plus sign right here right next to the uh, no-fly zone uh, icon and we're going to zoom out just a little bit so we can see the um, text here and so we're going to click on that and we're going to say connect to okay and so when you connect what it'll do is it will show you all the off-page connectors that are not connected on your drawing as long as you're using the same line type. Um, if you're using a, um, you know, a primary line, it has to be connected to a primary line. It cannot connect to a secondary line. So keep that in mind. Um, so if you know what drawing it is, you know, say we had five drawings in this PNID. And, or in this project and you would see all five but you know you're connecting to zero, zero, you know, 1000 if you click on 1000 it will only show you 1000 um, and so if you click on this one this is the one we want to connect to we're going to hit OK you can see that the the off page connector is now green it's saying that this is PS service 
And you notice over here that the tag for this line has already also changed and it picked up all the information from the line that we were connecting to. So when you're drawing this line, it's always a good idea to just go ahead and leave this blank until you're ready to connect. Because if you populate um, the, the line number here, it's going to say, hey, this one's already assigned. There's no reason to connect it to anything. It won't tell you that. It just won't let you make a connection. Um, and it could cause you problems. So just, I always just leave this blank and then make my connection and it inherits that property. Okay. And so if we come over to our original PID, okay, you can see that it's green also. So we're going to click on this again, go back to our properties. Okay. And now you can do some other information. So here's our origin destination. I'm going to put GGG. That's that. So you can say, you know, from HTX001. Okay. Uh, our connector. Uh, that's this one right here. And so if we, we give it a number, you know, say 002. Okay, because that's the, the line number there. 002, it's going to PNID 001. Okay. Um, you can modify this. Again, that's more into the admin side of things. And we can get into that much later on. But right now, just know that uh, this is pulling in from your property, your um, property data out of your drawing. So if you click right here, say go to properties, and we change this to instead of 1001 for the drawing number, and we say, you know, PID 1001. You can see right here that it changed from 1001 to PID 1001. And so there's different fields you can use to populate this. Again, more on the admin side of things, but just kind of give you an idea where it's pulling that information from. So that's how you connect lines from one PID to another. I hope that helps. Uh, please stay tuned for the next video. Uh, we're going to go into more detail of the line numbers. Um, and the line data inside and probably put in some valves and uh, instrumentation. Uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe and uh, let everyone know uh, about our channel.